Two Broke Rednecks present... Boy in Court is a Warner Home production. Hey, I thought you weren't supposed to associate while on probation. Cinematography by Ben. Is the film going to wish someone a happy 100th birthday? Never make bets with the Nile River because they welch on them. You know what they say, a hickey from Keno will leave you seen off. They consulted somebody for this piece of crap. This is my leaning post. Jim Henson's Gangster Babies. It's just time to block. Act like nothing was gonna happen. Come on, I'll do the driving. Cause I got my license today. Now to pick the rest of our friends up for clown car practice. Here I go, getting my first DUI! You took out my thinking post! No! Ever notice there's always a cop nearby in these films when needed? And so, another job for the police and the court. You see that narrator? Johnny he's Marvin talking about you. The hands of the law. This is the first time he's been caught. But his delinquent tendencies began long before in the conflicts of an unhappy home and in the hangout of the gang which was his refuge. So I guess now, you could call the crash a gangbang. What road lies ahead for this sullen, misguided 15-year-old? Puberty? Will he be placed in a cell for the night, herded with drunks and criminals? So car then theft's not a crime in this state. Will he be fingerprinted? Like out Hitler. Good for them. Given a permanent criminal record at 15. He looks 12 to me. Sentenced by a judge who knows nothing of the background of John and his family or the reasons behind his behavior. Or really cares. Will he grow up in reformatories and prisons to become a bitter and seasoned criminal? I like my criminal season with salt and pepper. And 200,000 other youngsters who are arrested each year are America's number one crime problem. Can't something be done to it's help the these Riddler signal. young lives and set them straight? Yes, something can be done. Something is being done. Many it's called prison believe rape. That good juvenile courts with well-organized probation service can make good citizens out of wayward youth. The rest are given lethal injections. Johnny lives in a community which has such a court. After his arrest, and sent he to the death chamber to right away. To mingle with adult offenders. Instead, he is taken to a detention home which the community maintains especially for children. As punishment, he has to Here change their dependence. The of a house mother and father. And is told how lucky he is place. for not being in jail Kindly, where he'd be someone's firmly, bitch by they now. They proceed to make him comfortable in spite of himself. Why is He's there a flap in the seat? You'll find out adults. later, sexy. He has a good night's rest in a comfortable bed. After anal sex. Next morning, after nourishing breakfast, of he's gruel. ready for a visit to the chief probation officer. Son, I have some pictures of me naked. Want to see him? Court. Haltingly, Johnny tells his story. But I thought first-time probation was a happy time in a boy's to life. Out all the details. Then he sends him back to the detention home for a few Where days. Where he has to change more and depends. the probation officer to investigate his background. Find out if he's Why a good county that can join Nambla. It is Probation Officer Benton's job to find out. He quickly learns First, Johnny is an he asshole. Makes a trip to Johnny's neighborhood, a visit to Johnny's world of squalid homes, dirt, and confusion. But we like here dirt in the and confusion. Of a house typical of the neighborhood is where the Marvins live. You can keep him, Mr. Benton probation finds Man. Mrs. Marvin and has a long talk with her. He learns that Johnny's father is dead, that she earns a little each week as a cleaning woman, and finds the task of raising her family too much for her. That's why most of Johnny's Boy siblings are buried under father, the floorboards. But he rebels against his tired, nagging mother, who finds it impossible to control him. Yep, asshole. He stays out late, prefers the gang to home. 
Benton investigates the gang because they were discussing picking wildflowers and visiting nursing homes. Them suspicious and distrustful, unwilling to tell him anything about Johnny. He also has a talk with Johnny's teacher. Who asked him who is Johnny? Because she's never seen him before in her class. The boy has a long record of truancy and poor schoolwork. Meanwhile, Johnny is sent to the clinic where he is given a thorough physical examination. Including a prostate exam by a guy with huge fingers. Johnny's special aptitudes, as well as some of the probable reasons for his school failures. Possible jobs for his the future include mushroom and village Johnny idiot. To talk, meet with some degree of success. He, he confirms Johnny is an asshole. But he's still distrustful of any efforts to help him. Then Johnny goes before the judge. Hey, narrator, a it's Johnny, not Donnie. This is not a trial, but a quiet hearing conducted in a small room. Only Johnny, his mother, and the probation officer are present. Why, yes, I Judge do know of a village that can use an idiot. The officer, the doctor, and the psychologist. And after talking with Johnny, Mrs. Marvin, and Mr. Benton, he reaches a decision. Well, Johnny, you're in a pretty serious situation. It's not often I meet with boys who are knocked up. Stolen things. Now I can send you to the industrial school till you're 21. That way you won't be and my I problem. But I don't want to do that. Because where would the fun in tormenting you be? Your mother and Mr. Benton and I, that you can make good without being sent away. By servicing so, us. Now get on your knees, boy. I'm going to put you on probation. And make you change Mr. more Benton depends. Will be your friend and supervisor. And I'm ordering now weekly we ass meetings. You all we can. But it's really your job. Will you try? Just please don't make me change more sure. depends. Mr. Benton, I want to know from time to time how Johnny gets along. And when he's available to come toss my salad. And so Johnny is placed in the hands of a probation officer. A trained caseworker to whom the boys' problems are... Well, challenged. time to get the weekly ass meeting the out of the way. The planning for the boys' future is to become acquainted with him, to find out about his interests, his ambitions, his feelings about himself. And then shank him Same so he can get the full prison experience. The respect and friendship. He must find a way to change Johnny's attitudes. And the weekly ass meeting the should do it. will bring him greater satisfaction than he has found in misbehaving. Does she only own wood grass? helps her to understand the needs of an adolescent boy. He asks the welfare agency to give financial help and assist Mrs. Marvin in making the home more attractive for her children. By taking the kids As off her hands. Child, Benton sees Johnny frequently, sometimes at the community swimming pool. Johnny loves to swim. And Tout had four his winter, kids. Mr. Benton persuades him to go out for the school basketball team. And he is successful in getting him to go to church again. Which would be great if the family was an Sometimes atheist. Sometimes meet at Johnny's home where his willingness to help his mother is evidence of a new sense of responsibility. The fact that he's sleeping with his mother is inconsequential. that Johnny's greatest interest is airplanes. Actually, it's just a clue. a friend of his who is a pilot to have Johnny meet him at the flying field. It was a never-to-be-forgotten experience for the boy. He was actually able to sit in a plane and have a real pilot tell him about the controls. And tell him where he can get one of those stupid caps. Benton uses Johnny's desire to be an aviator to persuade the boy to better his schoolwork. Again, or he just likes to glue. At least a high school education. He introduces Johnny to the public library, where the which boy depresses him because they haven't aviation. invented online porn yet. And to the boys' club, where he learns to build a model airplane in the club shop. Will you Business stop moving it, you bastard, so I can glue this Johnny piece on? a new world and ambition. The gang is forgotten. He's looking ahead to the things he really wants. Like being killed by his troops in Vietnam. Accomplish what mere punishment could never do. After a year on probation, Johnny is again brought before the judge. Well, Johnny, Mr. Benton tells me you don't need probation anymore. You've made good. And that village still needs an uh, idiot if you're you interested. You not steal any more automobiles, will you? See, that was dumb, wasn't it? Sounds like he needs to wear a helmet <laughs> and eat crayons. But we're all very proud of you now, Johnny. And I want to congratulate you. Thank you for making my life suck. And so Johnny's probation is successful. <laughs>
and by successful you mean he's out stealing cars every day again. Achievement of good juvenile courts. Which you can tell from the bad juvenile courts because they wear a goatee. Children and carefully chosen probation officers can achieve the same results in any community. Well, that could not come soon enough. We tell no one of this. Dear Bark Rednecks, we don't make bad movies, we make bad movies better. <laughs>